Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Raggedy Pack, episode three of Star Wars Tales of the Jedi. We just came fresh off Dooku's introductory episode where we see him go kind of crazy on Senator Dagonet, almost kill him before Qui-Gon, of all people, steps in and writes, or I guess stops Dooku in his tracks to uh, turning to the dark side right now and there. Um, really interesting stuff going on. Uh, we mentioned it in the beginning of last episode, but uh, outside of the big screen, most of us don't know anything about Dooku and Qui-Gon. I know more simply because I've played the Clone Wars, or played the Clone Wars, watched the Clone Wars. Um, I'm a little bit more of a Star Wars freak. But Dooku is really powerful. He's a really powerful Force user. He's one of the best, um, I'm not sure what the word is, Swordist, lightsaberist, sparist. Duelist. Duelist. There we go. I knew it had an ist at the end. Um, that the Jedi Order has seen in a very long time. And that's evident from, you know, him going hand to hand with Obi Wan, going hand to hand with Anakin, going hand to hand with um, Yoda. Yoda. Well, he kind of distracted Yoda, but still, he lasted and got away from Yoda. If Yoda doesn't just shit on you, <laughs> you're pretty good. Yeah. You're pretty good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So he's up there in terms of most powerful force users or duelists, like you said, um, in this era. So I'm, I'm not sure what to expect. Again, I, I saw the thumbnail, so we get to see probably the best duelist from this era in this episode. But outside of that, um, I don't know what to expect here. Hopefully more Qui-Gon and Dooku interaction because being able to see how Qui-Gon is shaped through Dooku's experience, that's also really cool. Like, there's just so much that these shorts can do to continue to bridge gaps in what we've seen versus what's, you know, on paper. Like, a lot of this is from, at least it's sourced from novels. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I don't have really much else to add. What did you guys like, or do you guys just want to jump into this one? Well, I will say, unlike last episode you have the opportunity now to read the summary for this episode it is one sentence <laughs> oh no what is Shit, it hold on of one of oh um you good hmm. you need me to read it I, I i just read it um okay jedi the jedi knights have the jedi knights investigate the mysterious death of one of their own hmm which could be interesting. I'm not sure who it could be, considering the one I was thinking of was Sifo-Dyas. And I know his death is fleshed out in the Clone Wars. So I don't think sifo would be in this episode, but it could be. Um, yeah, to get to see Mace Windu, that'll be sick. That's yep. super I, sick. I love... It's probably one of my favorite Jedi. Are we taking bets that he's actually voiced by Samuel L. Jackson? We know he's not. Damn. Yeah, we're gonna flesh that we, out we discussed in that like in the episode first one. Episode, right? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, That's been it, weeks since we recorded <laughs> that. The voice is done by the original voice of Kratos. Oh. Oh, yeah. I can't remember his name, but that's Me really either. good. But it's not if somebody is binging these reactions, they're gonna have just finished episode one where we talk about that, and they're gonna get to episode three where Kojo has already forgot that we talked about that. So that'll be funny. <laughs> yep. Um <laughs> But yeah, I don't have really much else to add. I think we'll have more to talk about at the end of this episode and, of course, at the end of the next one after this arc is complete. So you guys got anything else you want to add? Nope. All nope, right. I'm good. All right. Well, if you guys enjoyed this reaction, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any and all of our uploads. We'll have a full-length reaction for this Tales of the Jedi episode available shortly after release over on our Patreon. That link to join that is in the description below. We also have a free discord that you can join. Come talk about what you love, what you hate, what you want more of all that jazz, uh, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and Instagram, all that's available. And yeah, we will see you guys. What? No, let's get into this episode. <laughs> all right. All right. Again, I had to do a double take. Like a read. <laughs> make sure I was on the right episode. episode. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Oh, that tablet for a long time. Daddy? Are the answers you need over Master Katri's Ares! <laughs> the voice is great. <laughs> isn't enough. Welcome to Raxus Secundus. I am Jedi. I'm not gonna remember that. And this is Master Dooku. 
I wonder if it's in the same system as Rex as Prime. Because I know that planet. He's hiding something. We should take this information back to the Council. Would you want Ketri to leave without finding out what happened to you? Man, I need more Dooku. Protocol. <laughs> He's... This is great. I think that ship is what the new Jordans were based off of. <laughs> that ship is oh, pimped yeah? out. <laughs> it's it. I know it's dirt, but I wanted to make the joke. <laughs> is that a person? I don't know. Lightsaber hit. No, when it zoomed out, it looked like there was a person up in the tree. Oh. I couldn't give you an exact sky is so sus. Uh -huh. the exited first. And before she could clear the area, they descended upon her. Holy. So many cuts in these trees. Firing upon her immediately. Unless that attack is from someone one would trust, like you. Hmm. Oh man. Don't do it. <laughs> oh. Okay. There were people, or it was droids in the tree. Oh. Oh my god. A lot. Doesn't matter. You got like the two best. Yeah. Here. Even at this stage in their lives, it's not. Not close. You and all of the Senate puppets will see a reckoning. No. Damn. That sucks, killed dude. Himself. Is that toasty? At the expense of our people. Oh, so Planet. another. He was willing to bleed Rax's dry. Yeah. Luring off another corruption. To come in and industrialize the land. He was selling thing. off our planet. She would have listened. Mm. Making Dooku think. That for all of us. I like the way it showed uh, Dooku behind the red right there. Mm hmm. Good foreshow foreshadowing. Ah. Uh. Dooku's just such a good character. <laughs> yep. The council will have questions. Nor ego. That's foreshadowing. Hmm. Hmm. Been a while since I've seen this building. Whoa. Hmm. Dooku and Mace on opposite sides. Yeah, Yoda down there too. Just chilling. Good imagery. I will speak to the council on your behalf. <laughs> How kind of you. <laughs> Master Jedi. You can say that was my seat. <laughs> sarcasm with which he says Master Jedi too is yep. hilarious. Man. I can't you know, get enough of Count Dooku. I'm, uh, again, I'm so happy that we're here. That these are existing. These stories. But uh, I want more. <laughs> like, it's not good enough for me, you know? Like, yeah. This is phenomenal, and I guess since we already know so much about Dooku, they feel like they don't have to flesh it out, but I would love, love for them to flesh it out more. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, it's just so good, man. And the imagery that they're putting on, you know, Dooku being on the opposite side of uh, the casket, Dooku's quickness to side with the killers of Master Katri, like it's just perfect. It's perfect. I don't know how much more they could do. Maybe more stories seeing his 
slide downward, if you will, if it's really even downward, but uh, I just love it. I love every yeah. second of it. It's really, really good. Mace being the stuck up, him saying we got to keep ego out of it when ego is exactly what led to spoilers. His downfall. downfall. Yeah. So. Damn. It, it can't get much better than this. Well, they can make it about 10 times longer. Yeah. <laughs> but then again, when you when you. I, I definitely see the argument of when you make it longer, you make more time for error. Like this is sure. just straightforward. It's exactly what we want. Yeah. Could there be more? Absolutely. I will advocate for more every single day of the week that ends in Y. But it's perfect the way it is. Yeah. So, shit. I don't know. Seeing his spiral is awesome. It is really cool. And in that scene, the funeral scene, we got several more um, named Jedi that we already knew about. Plo Koon was there. Um, one of the guys that goes with Mace to confront Palpatine in episode three was there. I cannot remember his name. He was the one with like the half tentacles. There was the, mm -hmm. um, there was a Jedi that was in the Clone Wars. It's like a hunchback animal looking dude. He's like a, a wise Jedi. I cannot remember his name to save my life, but he was in Kenobi. I remember that was like a big reveal but yeah there's so much good shit going on in this show that it's, it's hard to all put it into words just yoda casually standing there next to mace right yeah yeah it's cool that we get to see him and he doesn't even say a word well yet he might in a future episode of tales of the jedi yeah i know we're gonna get Yadel. Mmm. Interesting. I mean, yeah, she's a thumbnail, thumbnail for, for episode four. <laughs> standing by oh. Count Dooku. So, I don't know. I don't got much else to add. This is just, this is phenomenal work. Episodes um, are short, uh, straight to the point. Yep. And the characters so far have been very in character. Mm -hmm. It's great to see. Absolutely. It is. All right. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode as much as we did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next upload of episode four. We'll have a full-length reaction, like I mentioned earlier, available on Patreon shortly after viewing of this. A uh, link to that in the description below, along with a link to join our free Discord. We got Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, Instagram. Those social medias are down there as well. And we will see you guys very soon for episode four. See you then. Yep. Yeah.